Hi, I'm the CTO of Enterprise DB. I've been with the company now for eight years in multiple different roles, and now for the last almost a year now, I've been the, the CTO of the company, yes. I usually wake up around 5.30, and then the very first thing I do is after a cup of coffee, I spend probably about an hour on my Peloton bike to relax and kind of get going for the day. Loud music, a trainer tells me, you know, go faster, go faster, crank the resistance up. That's actually the most relaxing part of the day. I do love coffee in the morning. I probably drink about four cups of very strong coffee in the morning. Without that, it's really hard. I spend probably most of my day in meetings and um, the way for me to be most effective is to have a plan for the day, to have a plan for the meetings, to have an agenda for the meetings, so that the meetings kind of get done quickly. Everybody knows what we're going to get out of it. And, uh, and when we're done, we're done. First meal of the day is peanut butter and jelly sandwich on homemade bread. I bake my own bread. So PB&J with homemade bread, that's the best way to get started. So why do I love Postgres? Because it's really, really powerful. It's a fantastic community and it's driving innovation like no other database in this space. Well, I think what makes a CTO successful, if I can say that, is be curious. I, I know that the CTO is a chief technology officer, often assumed to be a geek, a recluse, a propeller head, but I believe curiosity and reaching out to people, asking questions, don't be shy about not knowing something because nobody can know everything. That's really what I enjoy uh, at work, have people around me that can satisfy my curiosity and they can only do that because they're smarter than I am. So at the end of the day, um, you know, end of the work day, which usually is for me around seven, seven o'clock in the evening, um, you know, I like to spend some time relaxing, um, maybe watch a bit of TV or read a book. Here's where I think Postgres is going in 2021. A lot more innovation, a lot more performance, and a lot more ease of use. People in the Postgres community might be most surprised to learn that I love classical music, um, like to go to opera, and um, outside of my professional life, I'm actually not that much of a geek.